Back to ITM8 and student frustrations over class disruptions at Pike High School. Staff shortages have forced remote learning days for the days this week. Yeah, ITM8 Jasmine Miner digging into that for us this evening. Jasmine. Well, one student I spoke with says with all the back and forth of in-person to remote learning over the last couple of months, he nor his classmates know if they're even ready for finals at this point. And he tells me they already felt behind due to the pandemic, and now he's concerned that that is getting worse. This has been my worst year here at Pike. In my math class, I don't have a math book. Why? Because the resources aren't used where they need supposed to be. He told the Pike School Board that students like him have been struggling, while the board is yet to make a deal on pay raises for teachers and bus drivers. It's really difficult not to, like, everything digital, because math is like you always want to have a paper and pencil and not a keyboard. Pike sophomore Raul Lopez Sanchez says he eventually did get that math textbook, but it hasn't made going back and forth any easier. I don't blame them for not sleeping in because I've done it before, uh, because we're all we're all tired of it. He says most kids don't even show up for class virtually. If five kids show up, you're only five of them are getting education. And when they are in person, but there's not enough teachers, we are diverted to the school cafeterias and we are to stay there. And if we have an assignment that was posted, we do that. But if not, we're just there just sitting. The superintendent wrote this message on Facebook saying they are working very hard to resolve the outstanding issues. Teachers deserve more pay. But as both teachers and bus drivers announce their resignations, students like Raul have thought about leaving too. I don't really want to leave Pike. It's not playing fair. I feel like they, they need to do a better job. Well, I've reached out to the school board and the superintendent's office multiple times and none have taken my questions. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, WishTV.com and follow us on Facebook. Jasmine, thank you.